So I want to bring in now Brett Tomlin to uh, immediately uh, comment on my monologue and then give us his assessment. You know, Brett, we use him a lot. He's a former U.S. attorney from Utah. He comes to us from Salt Lake City. What say you? Bill, I, I thought uh, one thing that you hit on that, that uh, really isn't being discussed enough, and that is <clears throat> we don't know. Merrick Garland didn't answer any questions. He gave a press statement with you know very little information. The only new thing we, we learned was that he signed off on it, which was no real discovery for those of us that have been in the Department of Justice. But we know nothing about what they believe they have that supports probable cause and what was in that affidavit. And so for the media to go, you know, one way or the other, that's all speculation. I like the fact that you're willing to say, hey, I know Donald Trump as a person. I know what he's capable of, you know, physically and, and intellectually. I know what he's capable of doing, which is nothing compared to what we, we know about uh, the Department of Justice and, and why this investigation has been launched. OK, now. When you do a raid like that, it's obviously serious business, and it seems to be all one way over the recent years um, that conservatives' homes are raided, but liberals' homes aren't. Um, I think that's pretty accurate. But you mentioned uh, something to my uh, producer called a taint team. T-A-I-N-T team. What is a taint team? You know, the Department of Justice, when they execute a search warrant and they anticipate that there may be privileged documents, and I can't imagine that they did not anticipate you had either executive privilege or attorney-client privilege when you're going to seize documents prior to the search warrant. You have to designate a team of lawyers and investigators from the FBI and the Department of Justice who are not part of your investigation of Donald Trump, who know nothing about it, who are separate they will actually take into custody all evidence, all documents brought in, and they will review it for, did we gather privileged documents? If they did, then they will separate those out. They will return those documents unless they can show that they were, there's a crime fraud exception, which there wouldn't be in this in this instance. So the, the fact that they did not do that, when, when Donald wait, Trump's wait, 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 lawyers... Wait. How do you know the FBI didn't send in a taint team? What we know is the lawyers for the the pres- former president had reached out to the Department of Justice and indicated that they have gathered privileged documents. Um, the fact that the department's response, allegedly the department's response on that is that we don't think we did, and the Trump's lawyers requested a special master be appointed. Um, what they're really requesting is and that taint team. Is it in place? The department's response seems to justify the concern that they didn't establish that team before going in and searching the Mar-a-Lago. How big an error would that be? It can be a catastrophic error. Um, the, this country preserves the attorney-client privilege and requires that investigators do not review attorney-client privilege. That's the, the essence of the privilege. But what it does is, is, is why it's called a taint team is, does the review, does it taint the other evidence based on the review of that evidence? Did they see things they're not supposed to see? Because when you review privileged uh, information, you can reveal strategy, you can reveal, you know, confessions and, and issues sure. that are revealed to attorneys. A bunch of stuff be in only. there about, about not correct. only national security, but personal uh, things Correct. and all of that. So a judge, if the chain team was not put into place, and I can't imagine that Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, wouldn't know what you just told us, <laughs> that you should have had a team go in ahead of time that was not associated with any investigation of Donald Trump and look for privileged correspondence. He would have had to know that, right? Yeah, he would have had to know. And what they jeopardize, Bill, is the admissibility of any oh, evidence case. if they brought a case. Yeah, that's the right. judge could throw the whole thing out. Illegal search. So it makes it it makes you question if they really just didn't want the spectacle only. But why wouldn't they do the taint team? So it's, it's such not, an easy decision. Yeah. <laughs> right. You want a clean yeah. raid. 
You want a clean raid, one that would hold up in court, right? That's what the Justice Department is in business to do with our tax dollars. And you make a botch like that? It's and what I, yeah, it's stunning. What I've seen, and I've seen some cases where, you know, unintentionally they have gathered privileged documents investigators have. And what happens is they throw their hands up and they say, okay, we're no longer going to review any of this. Immediately they establish a taint team and they – they, they shift it all over to that that other team to review. Don't know if that's happening here. My guess is the Department of Justice is scrambling a bit and on their heels because they did not they did not do what they were supposed to do prior to the search warrant. All right, I'm going to tell everybody you're not going to hear that what we just told you in the last seven minutes. That's anyway, correct. You won't hear it anywhere. So that's why we have Brett Tomlin. Brett, I want you to you know watch this every day. Let us know what you see. I uh, want to update everybody, so you might be seeing a lot of Brett uh, in the next few weeks, and we'll get to the bottom of this as I as I pledged last week.